Welcome, 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 everyone. We're back. It's not the Bodega Boys. It's not Jesus and Mero. It's the Bodega Cats Comics crew. And we have four new subscribers this week. It's going to be a celebration. And today we're coming back to you with another episode of Celebrities Write Comic Books. This time, the book sucked. Let's get into it. Bodega Cats Comics. Meow. I feel like we shouldn't even do this show today. Like, I feel like we should not promote this comic book at all. You don't want to give it any type of publicity. I don't want to give it any type of publicity. I think that was that was putting it mildly saying that it sucked. Yeah. <laughs> We're not even go go into that because when we upload this, I don't want to hit the buttons that make it TVMA for all the, the viewers. So we're going to refrain from certain language. Uh, but today's book was Mayhem, written in the late 2000s mm-hmm. by a certain individual who, sweet lady, I do not want to be mine. It was Tyrese Gibson. But, but there was a point in time when Baby Boy was on 24 hours on BET. Like, you couldn't get away from it. You know what I'm saying? When it ended, like, you know, it would come right back on the next the next hour. Like, so that happened too. He he has had a few successes. He did. He you did. know, he, he's been in Too Fast, Too Furious. He has been in Fast Five. He has been in the trash as of today when I read his book. And, and it's funny because I printed it out to read it. And threw it in the trash. I didn't even buy it. <laughs> I took the extra effort. Mm. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Jose, you, you want to help us out with this book and, and, and give everybody a synopsis? I'll put it on screen. Yeah, my synopsis. I didn't even read this shit. So. <laughs> oh, wait. wait. <laughs> Whoops. Like, you not my read. personal synopsis. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. That was, I was going to be like, yo, the end. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. This, so this is this is my this is my contribution, my single single contribution to today's show. <clears throat> Los Angeles, the city of fallen angels, is a city swept up by a brutal crime wave led by a kingpin known only as Big X. The body count builds as only one man can stop the flow of drugs and violence. Only one man can stop Big X. He is the embodiment of vengeance and raw justice, the faceless arm of those who cannot. What the fuck am I reading? He is known as Mayhem, and along with his sexy but deadly partner. <laughs> <laughs> ah, their goal is to dismantle the Kingpin's organization, unravel the dark secret that mysteriously links them to Big X, and save the city they grew up in. What the fuck is that shit? Bro. <laughs> There's, there's no way to describe this book. Uh, and here's what the cover for everyone who wants to see it. Uh, what was it? Was it Image Comics? I, you know, oh man, hold, I, think, I think it was Image. It, it might, um, was it? Yeah, it, it might be. Shit. What was this? It was. Shame. Yeah, it was. It, it was, was terrible. Yeah, it was Image. It was, image. It, was, it was comics, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so we're dealing with a, we got a book from Image, uh, three issue run, and I don't know what happened with Big X Mayhem Malice. Uh, but Los, love to kick it to you to to tell me what you thought. I mean, it. So it was like this mashup of it, they didn't know what like I wanted to take bits and pieces of like every character. It was like. Having Red Hood, Punisher, Daredevil, all in one with a you know bootleg Black Widow sidekick, um, it, it just it, this is story, Mayhem himself. Yeah, the the story just, it just started just so abru- like in your face, and there was like no build up to anything. It was just like, all right, we're just gonna go straight into it show him killing a bunch of people and you're just like, okay, what's, what's happening. And it's like, then they kind of like fill you in bits and pieces as you go along. But it, it, it just follows the, the, like the standard tropes of like, you know, yeah, it looks like, you know, he's a a troubled man. And obviously there was one part where it looks like, you know, his children died and 
it was probably Big X and um, you know, now I have to get vengeance and I have to clean up my streets because there's drugs and it's just like, and then the standard, you know, uh, white guy in the, in the suit and, you know, living on top of a tower. And it's just like, like, yeah, it, it was, it was just bad. The, the writing was not like anything, uh, poetic or any, it was just like, just word jumbles and you're just like, Oh, you know, these little stupid quip one liners. And mm -hmm. you're just like, okay, nothing to get, uh, nothing that that reeled you in and was like, okay, let me somehow get invested in this character or nothing. It, it was just like, it, it was just so bland. And you're just like, it, it was almost senseless violence just to have violence and just be like, Hey, let's see how much, blood that we can put in a book <laughs> this is pretty much it it's like okay there, there was little things you just mentioned the intro and i really appreciated the lack of subtlety like the the main character uh malice is in a restaurant and she's complaining about stuff in her food <laughs> and then while she's doing that mayhem is on the roof like Maybe that A on their window is not real. So it seems like something I've already seen in the movie. And but while she's talking, she has like this mouthpiece that's coming out to the side in the drawing, like the art, and you're like, no one noticed that. <laughs> um, but also like fuck, fuck spoiler alerts. At the end of it, you find out that Malice <laughs> is Big X's daughter. And everyone who was working in this fucking restaurant should have known who she was, whether she had a black outfit on and her hair down or whatever oh it, it might have been. So the, yeah. the fact that you're running this three issue comic book and, and at the beginning you already put your nemesis and your antagonist and your hero all related. <laughs> like I'm about to find out Mayhem got adopted by them and they're just mad that nobody got an inheritance when the mom died. Like I feel like something terrible is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, there, there's this random scene where mayhem is in a church and he's like mm. god forgive me for doing this stuff but i gotta do it and then so randomly this other image comes in where there's two other children praying and you're like who are these kids and then the the father or reverend or preacher comes mm -hmm. out and says you gotta stop killing people god's <laughs> not gonna forgive you and mayhem goes well he already gave forgive me once and then he shows his like scar and when he takes his mask off it's just tyrese with a scar and you're like <laughs> Yeah, you you, you can, can tell like it was furious. Yeah, yeah. It, it's one of those things where it's like it, it's either you know two kids from the neighborhood that got you know killed in a drive by or some kind of gang bang you know whatever drug related shit, or they were either his kids that got killed or so. I mean, you can already see the the trope, and it's just like oh okay sure. You can already see the plot twist, you know, when they're like oh it was his daughter. I was like as I'm reading, I'm like that's gonna be Big X's daughter. I was like this is gonna. Be, and it's like hey sure enough, it's his fucking daughter. I'm like of course it is. Oh here we go. It just yeah. It it, it followed all the standard shit, and it was just like oh god, like it, it looked yeah. I was gonna share. This is that bad writing that we're talking about. So. Ends up this one guy, he goes into the restaurant. They needed to get information of where the drug bus is going to be, and it's on a yacht somewhere. But this guy's like, Oh, yeah, go to two miles off Catalina and when <laughs> dust tomorrow. Now, wasn't that much easier? And like, <laughs> he burned the dude's face <laughs> on a tray to get information. I was like, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm pretty sure with that much facial damage, he would not be crying. Uh, he, talking, he, he's not talking, he's not talking. Uh, and, and then here he's she takes the chopsticks, stabs dude in the neck, and he's like, oh, no. And they're like, what? Well, somebody needs to pass the medges to him. I was like, this is all bullshit jargon that I've seen yeah. before. <laughs> uh, and then that last scene that you're talking about, it's like, yeah. oh, yeah, daddy, it's Thursday. I'm here for dinner. <laughs> and then earlier in the, the book, this dude talks about this explosion with C4, uh, and apparently... It, he was probably in the middle of writing one of the Fast and Furious movies with fucking Vin <laughs> Diesel. And they were like, what's the distance you could be around C4 to not get exploded? Because he was like, if I was two inches closer, I would have died. I don't think there's a two inch difference with C4. Like, yeah, <laughs> I've seen Rush Hour. When when Chris Tucker shot that car, the entire neighborhood blew up. I saw how, I, I know how C4 works. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> is it the C4 detonates at the thunderous rate? Of twenty seven thousand feet per second, 
and I would have been evaporated if I had taken a step closer as he's like falling off of the boat or the yacht like on fire falling into the water mind you like you saw his suit earlier where his arms are exposed and like there's you know so apparently his just his arms are flame retardant uh, yeah. with nothing um and he could basically just survive uh a c4 blast just because he was one step back of where it needed to be at yeah and then he, he flies into the ocean and swims to Malice, who's drinking mimosas on the beach or whatever the hell she was drinking. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it was terrible. You, you know what's funny? I wanted to fact check the math. Oh, oh where you at? <laughs> Hold on. I'm a, let me highlight you. How no, do I do no, this? That was, that, was him. that was him. Yeah. Getting blown up on fire. Every day. Yeah. Who did the artwork for this? Oh, we could we could pull that up. Hold yeah, on. we could pull that up. But Not that it's crucial, but I actually, from the little bit that you've shown, I don't dislike the artwork. If you know, the, if you can find one positive thing, is I don't. I'm not hating on it. I'm not I think it's because you like '90s Marvel art. So, so <laughs> after, so after the the boat blew up, Victor. mind you, the boat he blows up the yacht right, and he swims. One hour later. He swam to the beach. I just I just noticed that now that the top little headline said one hour later. He swam for an hour. After being on a boat, being blown up, shooting all these guys, he swam an hour to go to this beach. Wasn't well, he like Mr. X or something? Uh, uh, Racer X. Again, <laughs> Racer Vin X. Diesel might have helped write this. <laughs> and Vin Diesel writes the impossible. That's all I'm saying. The, um, uh, the, the art and cover art was by Tone Rodriguez. Okay. Yeah. Again, I wanted to. And he might have been inspired by '90s Marvel, Victor. Maybe it looked very '90s Marvel to me. That's what I'm saying. Like it looks like yeah, that might have been. He might have grown up on you know Chris Piccolo's uh, Generation X or something, or you know, uh, what's his name, Tom DeFalco's Fantastic Four. Like leave him alone. (laughs) Listen, I don't have a problem with tone. The the book is not ugly. It's not the worst, like you said. It's the writing. The writing was terrible. No, no, yeah. I, I mean, I've seen worse art. I mean, the art wasn't like extremely like terrible. I mean, it it had its moments where it was like, okay, you could see that just like, ah, we don't give a shit at this point. Um, but <laughs> you know, it was just the writing was just like so like droll and mm-hmm. just like unappealing, and there was no like. There, there, I mean, lack of but like heart. There was no nothing yeah. in it to be like. Oh man, like yeah, I, I need to I need to see what's on next. Like man, I really feel for this dude. I'm like yeah, th- nothing. You're just like all right, this dude's just here killing people. Maybe in issue two you get like his backstory and you're like oh man, this is why. But this wasn't enough to draw me in to even read the second one to even find out what his backstory was. Like yeah. so it, it it actually did continue for another issue when it says to be continued. It wasn't like a three, three issues. Three issues. Wow. <laughs> and wow. A limited series at that. <laughs> or maybe it was canceled because like low, low uh viewer readership. But I'm I'm about to share something real quick but because I stand yeah. corrected. Oh shit. Was that you or me? <laughs> I stand corrected. This book beats 90s T- tone Rodriguez. I apologize. You're better than Rob Liefeld. You could draw hands, yeah. right? Like <laughs> You yeah. beat some of the better artists in the game, Tone. He's like, he can't touch him. I'm afraid of this. I'm going to, afraid of, you know. Yeah. He's drawing hands and feet. Thing. He's drawing hands yeah. and feet. <laughs> drawing hands and feet. Remember that uh, Remember that terrible, terrible Rob Liefeld um, splash page of the new mutants that he drew with, like, Shatterstar's huge upper torso and, like, tiny-ass legs? And Oh, he, he did uh, He did the, the worst Captain America Yes, um, I was just looking at it again last night with the big titties and the like the uh yeah. his chest was like blown out to here. <laughs> Wait, what? And his head was like back here and his tits were out here. <laughs> Vic, you ever seen that? We you've if, seen that before. If you right? just look up Captain America of Rob Life. I found it and I'm sad. <laughs> show it to, show it to our viewing I'm, audience. I'm, bring, all, I'm all, bringing all it all up. Of us because it's just me and Carlos that view this show. So so if you if you if you do that one, that's that was in the height of his, you know, whatever, you know, publicity, you know, fame. And then look up, uh, I want to say the new, his like one of his newest books was like Justice League. Um, he did a Justice League variant cover. Yeah, it was just like, what? 
in the absolute <laughs> like yeah. wh- why? Hey, those are my those are my chess goals, bro. Yeah. Those are my chess goals. <laughs> Vic said no. no. <laughs> those are my chess goals, bro. What what I'm thinking is they were like he has a heart that the size of Texas. So they wanted to make sure because you got a chest the, the size of Texas, bro. We got a titties the size of it's, Texas. It's in there. It, it's you in can't there. Go Texas about T for T. You, know what, it, you know what it is too. It looked like what he was trying to do was like he couldn't capture a silhouette. He was trying to get like the entire chest, but he couldn't. Like instead of uh, drawing him in an angle, so you can be like, okay, I can see the whole thing. He drew him completely straight and was just like, I'm gonna put it out as much First as possible. Of all, it was like. This is like that's called perception and depth. Like that's all it is. It's the angle. (laughs) It was hard. Steve Rogers looks dumb, thick there. Like he's not even like aside from the chest. Like dude is like thick. You know what I'm saying? Like, (laughs) like, (laughs) oh yeah, there it is. Look at this. Wait, this is this this is newer. This this is what a couple years ago. This is like two years ago. Yeah. Why? Her hair, like I uh, listen. I understand. wait. Look at Batman, bro. Look, look at Yo, the, look, look at Batman's, Batman's face. no <laughs> lip, lip having ass mouth. Yeah, like I look understand. I understand some people love Rob Liefeld. That's you know whatever. But come on, man. Like really, like her hair is awful. Like there's no flow to it. No nothing. Right. Batman always looks like Wolverine with no lips. The always the, the fucking neck like this. Like the the no lips. The the like. Why? I, it just, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the ashy league. I'm not giving Ryfield, like Rob Liefeld no more time because the the guest of honor is offended. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Here's, how, here's how bad it is. Here's how bad it is. Normally, our our shows can go for like 40 minutes to an hour. We are yeah. not even 20 minutes in, and y'all ran out of shit to talk about Tyrese's book that y'all had to trash. deviate. You had to deviate. Look, that's how quickly y'all, had, y'all talked shit about it. And yeah. it didn't last long to so deviate it to Rob Liefeld to fill up some time. Look at this shit. That's how yeah. bad the book was. Zero stars. It sucked. Oh, by the way, Rob Liefeld drew some titties on Captain yeah. America. And it was tough, right? Like, to get here, we had to go through some things. We 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 go to episode one. We'll tag it here. First, we, we read the short night. What was it? The, the short Halloween or... Yeah, yeah, right. We read that. It was all right. And then we read the next book, which was Minor Threats, Patton Oswald, episode two, tagged here. Right. So that got better. Mm-hmm. Now I fucking feel like I'm in the negatives. Like, I'm sorry. It's real. It was. It was Don't forget bad. to like and subscribe because we're still here. Um, yeah. yeah, it, it was just yeah, it was a struggle. It, it, it was a struggle. That, Like I said, the, the writing was not. It. It was one of those things where they're just like, you know what? Let's put all of the standard, um, and not even comic book. It was just like all the standard fucking um, movie tropes, mm-hmm. um, you know, action movie. Let's put the, like, the, you know, the 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 big X was not appealing. He was just like, oh, I'm just a guy who you know makes money, and I, I built this, you know, this this. Uh, uh, my empire from fucking. I'm like, of course, like, really, like, yeah. c- come on, dude. It was just like, yeah, God. That's I cool. imagine that when he was writing this, he for some reason had MTV jams tapes or DVDs like playing in the background. He was like, I recorded tons of episodes, and can I get a what what with Jay Z came on, and he was like, that's the perfect setting for this <laughs> Los Angeles Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was like, Something oh, happened. God. Yeah, it, it just didn't work. But that's it. And I think, Jose, I think if, if you would have read it, you would have been like, we're not recording tonight. Like, this is going to be the waste. We could have used You're that like, time no. to just recap. We could have just used that time to hear me rant about Dark Web Finale because that was just fucking terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, geez. If y'all, watched, you- if y'all watched the outtake, y'all see my rant about the, the storyline to date. And yes. then the finale came out last Wednesday, and it was fucking trash. <laughs> we need to record that this weekend. We're going we gonna to go page for page for this finale. Don't I'm say sure, anything listen, yet. I, you can get it, and we can walk through it. It's so stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want I want to play light jazz music in the back and have some cashews to eat on the side. Why cashews? I don't know. Uh, w- Los, would you read it again? Uh, no. No. Nah. No, I I can't. I mean, I I wouldn't read it again. It didn't appeal to me to even 
finish the series um cuz i feel like i already know what's going to happen like or at least take a, a pretty educated guess on how it's going to end or and I, yeah it, if it's just the same if it's going to be more of the same of the first issue with like just the mindless like violence and and shooting uh, honestly it was it was pointless like it really yeah. was it was just like let's see the how much if we could rack up a body count and that was it like mm. the storytelling was like no that that is the storytelling let's, let's see how many people we can kill you know how many people's faces we could blow off and it's like okay <laughs> sure yeah no uh yeah i agree poor writing i wish he just wrote baby boy too and put that in the comic book format and life would have been better like it would have been the story of Ving Rhames before he comes out of jail. I would have a, a baby boy prequel. Like that would have been like that. No, I wouldn't, but it would have been better than this. <laughs> it's true. Brad. Yeah. I, I wish he wrote like Transformers, uh, Revenge of the Fallen 2.5, and that would have been better. I don't know. He could have wrote anything else, like, <laughs> but he just went for this. So he was like, I haven't been a superhero. And, and the funny thing is, at one point, I think he was advocating to try to be Green Lantern, right? He wanted to be Jon Stewart. I think so. at one point. Yeah. Thank you, DC, for not making that happen. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> he would have been like, I want to write my own lines or improv. And you know. at least he let that go because you can, you see uh, Channing Tatum is still uh, campaigning to be Gambit. Like, let that yeah, shit go. Let that go. <laughs> and we all know if anybody's going to be Jon Stewart, it has to be Common. Like, just let Common be Jon Stewart already. I'm okay with so? that. I'm fine with it. You think so? Yeah. I'm okay with that. I feel like he has like the the calm like John Stewart is the lantern to me that just is like here all the time. And, and, He's and like, boom. Is he is, but I mean, I, I just don't see you, common. I, I, I could see common. I mean, I can't see Tyrese because he's too. He's he's more fucking Hal Jordan than anything else. Like his his um personality, right? He wants to be the fucking funny, humorous, you know, quip. That's not fucking John Stewart. John Stewart's more serious. He's more level headed, and I can't see Tyrese playing that fucking role. Um, you know, it just yeah. Hey, it, side it, note: This is super random though. But remember, uh, in the very first X Men, when Halle Berry Storm? No, it wasn't the first one. It was the second one, I think. Maybe the third one. I think it was the third one. And she tells Wolverine, "At least I've chosen a side." And then. Go back to the first one when she's fighting Toad and she tells that terrible Joss Whedon joke about like, do you know what happens to a Toad that's struck by lightning? Yeah. The same thing as everything else. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. That first movie. It was so good, but then you watch it now and it don't hold water. So No. No. no I think it's just, again, it's for folks that, you know, the, the, the nostalgia of seeing their classic favorites on screen for the first time but it's not yeah yeah it was interesting well i guess that's that's the end of the show we're talking about josh whedon and fucking storm and x-men movies and common and green land we ain't even talking about tyrese mayhem no more that shit did not deserve an exclamation point no <laughs> that shit got know. zero it got negative one i remember when victor i remember when when vic uh sent it to us in the chat and was like yo i found our our reading for next week i was i just laughed immediately i was like what <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not reading this shit. And I never, you know. <laughs> when, when you just when you just said that I uh, am the one who chose it, I'm like wanting to hide in the trash can. I'm like, mm. oh no, you know what? Because listen, I think we all agreed that we wanted to try to switch it up and find at least you know a, a writer of color or something. Yeah, you know what I mean, I just you found yeah. Tyrese. I'm like, this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Well, part of, part of me coming through, coming through. You know what? I'm going to let y'all pick the next book so I can sit back and be like, well, see how hard it is to pick a book written no, no, by I've, a celebrity? Listen, I've been struggling. I was, I, I've was i been racking my brain about trying to find a quality. And then I was like, do we do like Ta-Nehisi Coates who did Black Panther? Black or is Panther, that like, yeah. Right? You know, you could go back in the archives and do like J. Michael Straczynski when he was writer of Babylon, when he wrote Babylon, when he Babylon produced 5. Babylon 5 and mm -hmm. he had that, you know, long Spider-Man storyline, right? Like, I was struggling. Yeah. 
No, it's all good. Hopefully next week we'll be able to read some version of Flash written by John Singleton. Until then, <laughs> we are the Bodega Cats, and we're just going to play that outro. Meow. Deuces. Bodega Cats comic. Meow.